Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study in order traversal of binary tree using a stack. In in order traversal of binary tree T, first left subtree of root of binary tree T is traversed in in order. Then root of binary tree T is processed and then right subtree of root of binary tree T is traversed in in order. This is the algorithm to traverse a binary tree T with root R in in order using a stack. Here P is a variable which contains the location of node which is currently being scanned. So in this algorithm first we will push null into stack and then we will set variable p equals to the location of root r. After this, these two steps will be repeated until null is popped from stack. In step 1, We will proceed down the leftmost path rooted at P, pushing each node into a stack. We will stop when a node which has no left child is pushed into stack. See what happens in this step. Suppose this is the binary tree T. And variable p contains the location of node a. Then in step 1 we will push node a into stack. After this we will push left child of node a that is node b into stack. After this we will push left child of node b that is node d into stack. Node d doesn't have any left child so we will stop there in step 2 we will pop and process the nodes from stack if null is popped from stack then algorithm will stop there if a node n with a right child is popped from stack and processed then we will assign the location of right child of node n to variable p and return to step 1. It would be more clear after this example. Suppose we have to traverse this binary tree t in in order, right? We have to traverse this binary tree T in in order. Node A is the root of this binary tree T. First, we will push null into stack. Then we will push root A into stack. Then we will push left child of node A, that is node B into stack. Then we will push left child of node b that is node d into stack after this we will push left child of node d that is node e into stack node e doesn't have any left child so there is nothing to push into stack now we will pop top element from stack and process it right node e is top element of a stack so we will pop node e and process it node e doesn't have any right child right now node d is at the top of the stack 
now node d is the top element of this stack so now node d will be popped and processed node d has a right child that is node app so node app will be pushed into stack and node app has a left child that is node g so node g will also be pushed into stack node g doesn't have any left child right so there is nothing to push into stack now now node g is the top element of a stack so we will pop it and process it node g doesn't have any right child now node f is the top element of a stack so it will be popped and processed node f has a right child that is node h so we will push node h into stack node h doesn't have any left child right node h doesn't have any left child so there is nothing to push into stack now node h is the top element of a stack so we will pop node h and process it node h doesn't have any right child now node b is the top element of a stack so we will pop node b and process it node b doesn't have any right child right now node a is the top element of a stack so we will pop node a and process it node a has a right child that is node c so we will push node c into stack node c doesn't have any left child so there is nothing to push into stack now node c is at the top of the stack now node c is the top element of the stack so we will pop node c and process it node c doesn't have any right child now we will pop top element of a stack right top element of a stack is now null right now null is the top element of a stack so null will be popped from stack since popped element is null we will stop there thank you very much